All right, so we are here back in the past rewrap location and as we saw last time, we control some of our broad leaves and as you can see, most of them knock it down after a herbicide application, but there are other plants coming here that might be a problem. One of them that's pretty common that comes pretty aggressively right now is Johnson grass. And there is always that question, is Johnson grass a weed or a forage? Well, keep in mind that Johnson grass was introduced here as a forage. And actually, it's a good forage. We have about 15%, 14% crude protein and a TDN of 60%. But the problems that we have here in Oklahoma is that first, this is considered noxious weed. So that's why sometimes you wanted to control it. And also, uh, you can have nitrate and also prussic acid toxicities. So the plant, uh, again, uh, can concentrate nitrate or prussic acid and those can be in certain level uh, toxic to the animal. So that's why we need to avoid that the animal, cattle or horses, eat those plants when they have a high concentration. Uh, when that high concentration comes, let's say if that plant stay in a drought condition for too long and after comes a rain, after the rain that wake up those plants from the drought time is when we are going to have a high concentration of nitrates and or prussic acid. So after a rain that followed a drought period, it's better that at least you wait like four or five days before cutting for hay or introducing cattle. So in order to control Johnson grass, we can think about overgrazing, mechanical control by mowing or herbicides. One thing that I want to make people aware is that lots of times uh, I, I hear from people that uh, they, they think that Johnson grass will be poisonous when the leaf show a kind of a white powder at the top. Uh, I would say that that's pretty much a myth that's not true. Uh, Johnson grass can be with high concentrations of nitrate and also prussic acid regardless having that white powder or not. For sure, the ultimate test would be a forage sample that you're gonna send to a lab and they will even do the analysis and come with the right concentration that you have of those, those toxicities.